welcome all in this lecture we are going to solve one more example that is example number 8 the open loop transfer function of unity feedback control system is given as g of s equals to k over s st1 plus 1 plus into st2 plus 1 applying the routh hurwitz criteria determine the value of k in terms of t1 and t2 for the system to be stable so in this question we are given open loop transfer function that is g of s and it is also saying that the unity feedback is there that is h of s is equals to 1 here since it is unity feedback control system that's why h of s equals to 1 and we need to find out the value of k in terms of t1 and t2 so first of all we move on by making the characteristic equation so the general expression for the characteristic equation is characteristic equation equals to 1 1 one plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 this is the basic expression of characteristic equation on putting the values in the characteristic equation expression we get 1 plus the g of s will be replaced by this term k over s s t1 plus 1 s t2 plus 1 into h of s is 1 is equals to 0 on taking the lcm the final equation we will get will be s cube t1 t2 plus s square t1 plus t2 plus s plus k equals to 0 this is the basic characteristic equation that we will get after solving this expression so as we get the characteristic equation then the next step we have to follow is formation of routh array so we will form a routh array then we will write the powers of s in the decreasing order so the maximum power of s is s cube so s cube then s square s square then s to the power 1 s to the power 1 then s to the power 0 is there s to the power 0 then here it is the odd power of s it is also a odd power of s so the coefficient of odd power of s cube is t1 t2 then here the coefficient is 1 only so we will write 1 after that writing the even power of s since it is s square and 2 is an even number that's why we will write even powers so the coefficient of s square is t1 plus t2 t1 plus t2 and coefficient of s to the power 0 is k so we write k here after this we will cross multiply to get that remaining elements so that t1 plus t2 will be multiplied with 1 t1 plus t2 into 1 minus k multiplied with t1 and t2 k t1 t2 the whole expression will be divided by t1 plus t2 so we will get t1 plus t2 minus k t1 t2 over t1 plus t2 and here no column form further multiplication so we will write zero here
after that this whole term will be multiplied with k and minus 0 will be multiplied with t1 plus t2 so k t1 plus t2 minus k t1 t2 over t1 plus t2 minus 0 and it is divided by this term only t1 plus t2 minus k t1 t2 over t1 plus t2 so this term will be cancel out and the remaining result will be k only so we will write k and 0 so this is the complete formation of the raut array and after this we will find out the value of k in terms of t1 and t2 for the system to be stable so for the system to be stable there should be no sign change in the first column since the multiplication of the two number can either be the positive or the negative so all the terms in the first column should have the same sign for the system to be stable there are two conditions that is k should be greater than 0 and this term should also be greater than 0 for the system to be stable so we can write as k should be greater than 0 this is the first conclusion and second conclusion is t1 plus t2 minus k t1 t2 over t1 plus t2 should be greater than 0 this is the second conclusion for the system to be stable so from this equation we can also cross multiply t1 plus t2 with a zero so we can also get t1 plus t2 minus k t1 t2 should be greater than zero and we can also say that by moving this term in the rhs we can also say that t1 plus t2 should be greater than k t1 t2 and by cross multiplying this t1 t2 in the lhs we can also get t1 plus t2 over t1 t2 should be greater than k on breaking the terms that is t1 over t1 t2 plus t2 over t1 t2 should be greater than k so this t1 will be cancel out with this denominator t1 and this t2 will be cancel out with this t2 so finally we can say that 1 over t2 plus 1 over t1 should be greater than k so and from the first conclusion we can also say that k should be greater than 0 this is the final conclusion of this question so by this conclusion it also consisting of the values of k in terms of t1 and t2 and this is only the desired output thank you